Good morning, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I look exhausted. I feel exhausted. It is pretty early right now. It's still kind of dark out. I am just tired. I did not sleep well last night. Anyways, today we are doing a what I eat in the day. So I'm going to share with you guys what I've been eating to stay healthy and, you know, fit and all those things. And so... I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you guys what I'm eating. I'm currently making my breakfast right now. I have my water, as you guys can see, I've already started drinking it. And this morning we are having oatmeal. So I have all my ingredients here. I have my oatmeal, chia seed, hemp seed, and pumpkin seed. And then also I have some blueberries. I just warmed them up in the microwave. They were frozen. A goal of mine in 2019 is to have a piece of fruit with breakfast every morning. So this morning we are having blueberries. So I'm going to load this all up and then have some lovely oatmeal. Alright, here is my lovely oatmeal. I didn't make it look aesthetically pleasing because, you know, I'm tired, I don't feel like doing it. I also decided to add some peanut butter and some maple syrup. I usually add maple syrup just to make it a little sweet because we all know I don't like plain oatmeal. I'm not a fan of just oatmeal that much, so I gotta sweeten it up. So I added some maple syrup, which is a natural sweetener, and then I also added in some peanut butter in that. So I'm gonna mix that all together and I'm going to eat that for breakfast. I'm a little hungry and I'm still drinking this because I am so thirsty right now. I woke up really, really thirsty. So if you're looking for a good tip to stay healthy this year, chug water in the morning. Drink as much water as you can in the morning. It helps just kind of get your body going in the morning. Like you need a little bit of like boost, Water, 100% recommend, even lemon water sometimes. Anyways, I'm gonna eat that and drink that and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, so I'm actually heading off to work kind of early because it is a legit snowstorm outside and it just started snowing like crazy so I wanna get to work before the roads get really, really bad. So I'm heading out to work. I'm having my water, I'm gonna refill my water bottle and I'm also having it with a banana. So I'm gonna eat that while I'm at work. and I am making my lunch. I already mixed everything together, but for my lunch I'm having a chickpea tuna sandwich. So this is the vegan alternative to having tuna. It tastes very similar, not the same, but it does taste similar. And so what I put in it was obviously chickpeas. I took those and I mashed half of them up, like I mashed up as much as I could. I don't mash up the whole thing because laziness and like, you don't need to. And so I've made this many times in my videos. So in my chickpea tuna, I have some vegan mayo, I have some Dijon mustard, and then I also have some teeny sauce. And then with that, I also put my three favorite spices, which is salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And I mix those all together, and that's pretty much it. It is so easy to make, and it's so good to have. It's good on its own, and it's good to put on a sandwich. So I actually toasted up some ciabatta bread. It's so good when it's toasted, and it makes it really nice. And so that is what I'm having for lunch, is some chickpea tuna. Okay, so it's actually much later now and I'm about to head off and coach cheerleading and then go to the gym And so I decided to put a smoothie together a really really big smoothie This is much bigger than I anticipated so we're gonna see if I can get through this whole thing If not, I might save it for later. We will see. All right, so in the smoothie it has quite a bit of stuff It has some frozen banana. It has cherries Some natural peanut butter some vega protein the chocolate one and it also has some almond milk mixed with some water It is very thick and I'm going to go enjoy this before I have to head out. Delicious. 
All right, guys, so I finished coaching and I just finished at the gym and now it is time to make supper. This is like my favorite meal of the day. It's literally supper because I just feel like it's just always the best, you know, and I feel like I can eat a lot of food and it's just great. So tonight we're actually making it really simple, really easy, and we are having a salad, basic, easy, you know, kind of straightforward. I love making salads. I love making really lavish salads. So ones that are just like, filled with tons of stuff. So I'm gonna get into preparing that and I'm just ready to eat, guys. I'm so hungry now. So we are starting off the salad by making some tofu. I know a little random, but I want to have a protein in my salad. Of course, you always want to have some source of protein in your salad. That's what's going to help make you full. So like I said, I love making lavish salads. So this is actually something that I've been really liking recently to kind of spice up my tofu. So with my tofu, I just have, you know, basic tofu, but I put a little kind of like seasoning on top of my tofu. So it gives it a little bit of flavor because tofu can be really boring and you want to dress your tofu up. So what I've done is I've taken some oil. This is just some organic olive oil. I took some of that. I try not to do too much, but I put a little bit of oil in there. And then I also put it with balsamic vinegar. This is just straight balsamic vinegar. It's not like an already pre-made salad dressing. This is the real stuff. And I love this stuff so much. It is so good. I just love the balsamic vinegar. It's so good. And so if you hear background noise, it's the tofu cooking. And so I put balsamic vinegar in there and then of course you guys know I have my basic straightforward spices that I use in literally everything. I use salt, I use pepper, and I use garlic powder. Those are like the three things that I put in literally everything. And so I just mix that together and then I took my tofu and kind of spread it on top of that. And then the leftover mixture that I had, I just kind of poured it all in so that the tofu can really absorb it. So I just cook it in a pan and then I kind of like flip it once it starts really cooking. And I flip it a couple times so that I can really absorb the sauce so that it really gets the flavor in it. So we're starting out the salad by making tofu and this is what it is. Really easy to make. I really love it and it's just something that's really healthy obviously. So while the tofu is cooking, we're going to start washing the vegetables. For vegetables tonight, we're using, obviously, salad, because you gotta have salad in your salad. We're using some kale, we're using some green onion, some carrots, and some cucumber. My big bowl here is filled with kale and lettuce and then I have also decided to add some pomegranate to my salad as well it just makes it a little more sweet and I find pomegranate and balsamic actually complement each other quite well also I like to add a little bit of a crunch to my salad and so I have some shredded almonds here I sometimes pan fry them but tonight I'm just too lazy and so we're just using some shredded almond got my tofu got my vegetables I got my carrot onion and cucumber and so we're just gonna mix it all up, put the salad together, and that's what we have. So I actually forgot the most important thing of the salad, and that is the salad dressing, of course. And so I actually don't have any salad dressing, like pre-made salad dressings. I completely forgot about it, didn't even think about it. So I actually just decided to do my own balsamic dressing. And so it is the exact same dressing that I used on the tofu, the oil, the balsamic, and then the spices. I just mixed that together, poured that on top, and that's what I'm having as a salad dressing as well. It obviously complements the salad because you have a little bit of flavor of that in the tofu. And then it also complements the pomegranates really well. So I'm going to mix it all up. I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to enjoy it. I am so hungry, and this looks 
so good guys like oh my god I can't wait to eat this all right guys supper is done and now I'm just having some tea I'm having some lemon and ginger organic tea this is actually a really good tea to help with bloating if you guys have a little bit of bloating I like using lemon and ginger really helps also I'm having some Justin's dark chocolate I'm obviously not gonna eat the whole bag I could eat the whole bag but I'm not going to I mean I could but we won't anyway so I'm just having this it is the dark chocolate ones they are so good and they are vegan so if you live in the states or you go into a target really recommend picking those up they are like delicious so with that said I'm gonna end off the video here I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button down below you guys know where it is and yes thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round me